another episode. Hopefully you can hear me today. It's quite windy outside and in this marquee it makes a lot of noise. So I have a few more bits to carry on with the rear mount radiator setup, i.e. the floor pan and the sunken base, so I'll carry on with that. doing weld nuts is a good idea because you can actually go slightly over put a little shank on it so when the nut goes into place it slots and locks because it has a little bevel on the top if you can see this will make sure that when you come to put a bolt in from the other side it will align properly <laughs> about to start making some angle pieces out of straight steel but then the delivery came with the angled aluminium so that will save me a job. <laughs>
reason why I've opted to rivet all this in, this bottom plate, rather than weld it, is it's actually easier to modify if down the road if I want to take it out with a drill. I can 10 minutes and I can drill and remove the entire thing. Whereas if it was welded, then obviously it's cutting and there's a lot more work involved. The other thing as well is the aluminium plate is 3.2 mil thick, the angle plate, and it's actually quite light or very light compared to steel. So that's another reason to use aluminium. pipes are really close but there's enough to get a pipe on there and have a clip on it. Now I just need to make some mounting brackets. I'm going to use these big aluminium plates that are already on the radiator as a bolting point. So I'll just make some plates to weld to the car and then I'll do some of the top as well. brackets tacked in place for the radiator mounts so there's two at the top and then two on the sides now that the mounts are welded into the car I can put the radiator back in um, spin the car upside down and then I can see exactly where I need to extend the rear box to and then inevitably where it's going to join to the Peugeot shell.
So these are going to be the access panels for anything coming in from the front to the rear through the bulkhead, i.e. Uh, water lines and wiring. So these panels are going to be riveted in here and then I'll cut out a window that then I can put some kind of nuts on and then when I know exactly what's going to run through I can make a plate that will be able to screw on and come off so it's maintainable. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.